Hey guys, hey. welcome to day seven. So, so we're doing reverse lunges today. So we'll go over a couple form <laughs> cues um, and hopefully you guys can uh, add these into your routine. We're going to give you a couple different options and different ways of doing these as well. Okay, so starting with a reverse lunge, you're going to step it back. Dogs out of the way. And then you're going to lunge down. So as we step back, the weight should go into your front leg's glute muscle and in through the heel. Stand back up and back down. That's two. Let's keep going. Three, we're looking for knee in line with our ankle. Four, making sure that we're getting that nice back and down. And seven, other side. So when we sit back and down, you do not have to go super low. So if this is your movement here, it doesn't have to be super deep. Or you can go all the way down. Or you can touch that knee all the way down to the ground. It's totally up to you. Two more. No, seven, actually. It's oh, I can't count. Good. <laughs> okay, so a couple options here for your reverse lunges is that you could do a narrow stance or a wide stance. So a narrow stance is literally, this is my lunge here. Or a wide stance all the way back. Narrow stances are great if you have a limited range of motion. If you're just getting back into fitness for the first time, narrow stance will allow you to get into that movement pattern. Um, now, if you have a problem with putting too much weight, you think, on your back leg as you step it back, you could come back with a straight leg and really begin to keep that weight forward over that front heel and beginning to bring that awareness into the glute. A good way to do that too is if you have a cloth or something, you can use this foot just and slide it back. So you're not really putting any weight, you're just sliding it across the floor. Um, now the other thing that I was going to say is that if you're, if you're trying to establish mind-body connection with the, or mind-muscle connection, sorry, with the muscle that you're trying to work, sometimes it can be quite helpful to hold on to that muscle. So as I step back, if I have my hand on my butt, I want to feel that muscle contract on that way up. Making sure that we're establishing that contraction, that's gonna create more of a mind connection with the muscle and allow you to engage it better. If you're not feeling it as much in your glute when you go down, the other thing you can do is lean your body a little bit more forward and it tends to allow you to push harder out of that glute. If, you, if your upper body, instead of being straight up, is lean more forward, you're gonna get that glute more involved as well. So hopefully those tips help you guys stay on track for this, uh, what is it, Monday today? If you want to make it even harder. Yeah, you can add a jump switch. You can jump switch them too. So have fun with it, guys. Make sure you post. We'd love to see you guys doing your lunges. Have a great day. Have an awesome day, guys.